The Ferrari 348 is a mid-engine V8-powered two-seat sports car produced by Italian automaker Ferrari, replacing the 328 in 1989 and remaining in production until 1995. It was the final V8 model developed under the direction of Enzo Ferrari before his death, commissioned to production posthumously. The 348, badged 348 terabytes for the coupe, Trasversale Berlinetta, and 348 TS for the Targa, Trasversale Spider, featured a naturally aspirated 3.4-liter version of the quad cam, four-valve per cylinder V8 engine. As with its predecessors, the model number was derived from this configuration, with the first two digits being the displacement of the engine and the third being the number of cylinders. The engine, which had a power output of 300 PS, 221 kilowatt, 296 horsepower, was mounted longitudinally and coupled to a transverse manual gearbox, like the Mondial T with which the 348 shared many components. The T in the model TB and TS designations refers to the transverse position of the gearbox. Overall, 2,894 examples of the 348 terabytes and 4,228 of the 348 TS were produced. The 348 styling differed from previous models with stracked side air intakes and rectangular taillights resembling the Testarossa, stylistic themes reminiscent of the F40, the world's fastest production car at the time, and other prestigious Ferrari models of the past. The model was also the final design overseen by chief stylist Leonardo Fioravanti, known for such designs as the F40, Daytona, 512 Berlinetta Boxer, 288 GTO P5, P6 and others. The F355 that succeeded the 348 returned to the styling cues of the 328 with round tail lights and rounded side air scoops. The 348 was fitted with dual computer engine management using twin Bosch Motronic AQs, double redundant anti-lock brakes, and self-diagnosing air conditioning and heating systems. In 1990, the Bosch Motronic engine management system was updated from the 2.5 to the 2.7 version. Later versions of the 348, 1993 and beyond, have Japanese starter motors and Nippon Denso power generators to improve reliability, as well as the battery located within the front left fender for better weight distribution. All 348s have OBDI engine management systems, though European and general market variants do not come with the self-test push button installed which is needed to activate this troubleshooting feature. Similar to the Testarossa but departing from the 512BB and 308-328s, the oil and coolant radiators were relocated from the nose to the sides, widening the side of the car substantially, but making the cabin much easier to cool since hoses routing warm water no longer ran underneath the cabin as in the older front radiator cars. This also had the side effect of making the doors very wide, the 348 was equipped with a dry sump oil system to prevent oil starvation at high speeds and during hard cornering. The oil level could only be accurately checked on the dipstick when the engine was running due to this setup. The 348 was fitted with adjustable ride height suspension and a removable rear sub frame to speed up the removal of the engine for maintenance. Between 1992 and 1993, Ferrari made 100 limited edition units of the 348 Series Special of its TB and TS versions. It was only made for the U.S. market. The main technical modifications consisted in a revised engine which produced 316 PS, 232 kilowatt, 312 horsepower, at 7,200 revolutions per minute, a wider rear track, 50 millimeters, a free-flow exhaust system, a shorter ratio final drive and Pirelli P0 tires. Ferrari indicated a 0 to 97 km per hour acceleration time of 5.3 seconds and a standing quarter mile of 13.75 seconds. Several modifications were made to the exterior as well. New front spoiler to optimize aerodynamics similar to the F40. New front grille with the chrome prancing horse, bumpers and rocker panels in body color. Engine cover in body color, modified taillight assembly and new rear grille with the chrome prancing horse. The cars were offered with F40-style sport seats in Connolly leather with the regular seats included as an option. The door panels were also modified and made of leather. Each car was numbered, 1 to 100, with a 348 Series Special plaque on the passenger's side door post. The Ferrari Challenge was initiated by Ferrari Club Nederland founder and president Hans Hugenholz and designated for the Ferrari 348. The series debuted in 1993 and included the Italian and European series.
The engine used in the participating cars was similar to the road-going GT models introduced in the same year with the only noticeable changes being the slick tires, new body kit, better brake pads, roll bar, smaller battery in a different position and seatbelts. In 1994 the G-Spec engine cars had to be modified with the H-Spec cylinder heads and injection system. The cars were mostly modified by dealers by installing factories supplied challenge kits. The car's final season was in 1995 and was replaced subsequently by the F355 Challenge. In late 1993, the 348 was revised, featuring subtle styling changes, front grille, rear chrome cavallino and removable seat cushions, and more power, this time 312 horsepower, 233 kilowatt, 316 PS, and 320 PS, 235 kilowatt, 316 horsepower, Europe, from the same 3.4-liter engine, with an improved version of the Bosch Motronic 2.7 engine management system and a new exhaust system, single muffler, the revised cars are called 348 GTB, 252 made, and GTS, 137 made, and were presented to the public as the 348 GT versions, equipped with the COVALENTF119H1 engine as opposed to the original F-119D and US F-119G. The COVALENTF-119H1 engine had an increased 10.8 to 1 compression ratio as compared to the F-119D and F-119G's 10.4, 1 compression ratio, taller intake plenums, a larger intake compensation valve, fuel pressure raised from 3.4 bars to 3.8 bars, and different camshaft timing. For these models, both the engine cover and lower body skirts were body colored instead of black, and the rear track was one inch wider due to the mounting area, on the inside, of the rear wheels being thicker. The suspension geometry was revised which greatly enhanced its handling, ride and body control. The fuel tank was made smaller in order to reduce overall weight and provide space to improve chassis rigidity, it now held 88 liters, 23 US gallons, 19 imperial gallons, a convertible variant called the Spider was introduced in 1993 and was Ferrari's first series production convertible model since the Daytona Spider. Visual changes for the Spider included body-colored lower cladding pieces, a specially designed engine cover and a manual folding soft top. The rear track was increased by 50 mm inches, compared to the 348 TB. The Spider used the same engine as the 348 GT models and hence benefited from the increased power output. A new transverse mounted gearbox with modified gear ratios was installed to ensure better acceleration times and shift response. In 1993, Ferrari presented a lightweight 348 GT Competizione variant as a homologation version for competing in the GT Championship. Safety equipment such as a tool kit was carried over from the 348 Challenge, the braking system was derived from the F40 Evoluzioni model. The cars also had modified racing suspension and exhaust system. The engine had a power output of 320 PS, 235 kilowatt, 316 horsepower, at 7,000 revolutions per minute and 324 newton meters, 239 pound-feet, of torque at 5,000 revolutions per minute. Consistent to standard late 348 production with the COVALENTF119H1 engine. Only 50 were made, including 8 right-hand drive models. Special features included a specially trimmed steering wheel, indicating the number sequence in the production of the 50 cars, 5-spoke 18-inch Speedline Competizione wheels and cloth trim seats with Kevlar structure for weight reduction. Aiding further in the weight reduction was the carbon Kevlar composite material used for the front and rear bumpers as well as the doors and a lightweight polycarbonate rear window. Additional interior trim pieces such as door sills featured carbon Kevlar and creature comforts such as air conditioning and soundproofing materials were removed. These changes resulted in a dry weight of 1,180 kilograms, 2,601 pounds. The final drive in the gearbox was changed to 25-27 ratio for improved performance. Between 1991 and 1992, Italian coach builder Zagato announced the Zagato Elaborazioni package for the Ferrari 348TB. The changes were all cosmetic in the engine and other mechanical components remained identical to the donor car. At the front of the car a new bumper removed the original's fake central grille and also replaced the Ferrari prancing horse emblem. 
The side intake cooling ducts were enlarged with the strakes removed and the engine cover was replaced with a glass engine cover showing off the V8 engine. A new round triple tail light arrangement and an electronically controlled rear spoiler were added. A double bubble roof replaced the original, the idea being that Zagato could lower the roofline of a car, but retain enough headroom for each occupant. Other modifications included custom Oz Racing alloy wheels, external fuel filler caps and a completely reworked interior including a 3-inch rear view screen and suede upholstery. Zagato initially announced a production run of 22 examples, but only 10 cars were made. The Ferrari 348 Barchetta Competizione is a one-off special created for car collector Guy Odebert from his crashed Ferrari 348. The car, which has a true open-top Barchetta body style, features heavily modified bodywork that includes a deeper chin spoiler, removal of the pop-up headlamps with the headlamps integrated in the fog light assembly, quick-release bonnet, minimalist racing interior, featuring a detachable steering wheel, Sparco racing bucket seats with six-point harness and a roll bar for the driver's safety, a large air scoop reminiscent to that used in Ferrari F1 cars, racing wing mirrors, replacement of the stracked side air intakes with larger air intakes along with two additional vents, tail lights from the Ferrari 328, perforated rear grille, 18-inch BBS racing alloy wheels and a large rear wing inspired by the Ferrari F40 LM. Details of the coach builder that carried out this conversion, the materials used for the bodywork and the car's technical specifications remain unknown due to the car being mostly kept private but the weight was revealed to be 1,100 kilograms, 2,425 pounds. In 1991, 348 chassis number 82,881 was delivered to Ecury Frankerchamps for the purposes of evaluating the 348's suitability for competition use, and its development set the stage for the 348 GT Competizione production models to come near the end of the model run. Outfitted with composite doors, polycarbonate competition windows, and experimental exterior and underbody aerodynamic treatments, the development mule was designated as 348 TV, F with the F designating the car's creator, Frankerchamps, and weighed a total of 1,165 kilograms, 2,569 pounds. The car was frequently run at Spa-Ferrari race events, but did not campaign formally within any major series. For 1993, Michelotto, then known as Ferrari's unofficial race preparation specialist based upon their work in developing the 288 GTO Evoluzioni, F40 LM, and 333 SP, was commissioned to prepare 11 examples of the 348 CSAI GT model for competition in such prestigious events as the 24 Hours of Le Mans and Daytona races. Sold with the intention of being campaigned by privateer teams, only two of the cars ever saw true competition use, with the remaining nine disappearing into private collections. Italian race team Jolly Club campaigned one of the 348s alongside their Michelotto prepared F40 LM, achieving significant success in the Supercar GT series, with the 348 winning sequential outright titles in 1993 and 1994, along with three category titles. Michelotto built a further two cars in 1994, designated as 348 GT CLM for competition within the GT2 class, campaigned by Team Repsol and Ferrari Club Italia. Team Repsol placed fourth in the GT2 class for the 1994-24 hours of Le Mans, following a trio of Porsche 911 GTs, and 11th overall. The 348 GT CLMs also placed 2nd and 6th at Belunga 6-hour and 4-hour races, and 5th at Spa 4 hours for the season, along with another Michelotto 348 taking 7th in the GT2 class for the Daytona 24 hours. Two Ferrari 348s were used as two of the three test mules for the Ferrari Enzo namely M1 and M3 respectively. Details about the M1 remain unknown but some images surfaced online show that it was painted black and had stretched bodywork while the M3 featured heavily modified bodywork to accommodate the V12 engine and gearbox which were intended to be used in the production car along with many components from its successors, the F355 and the F430 respectively. The engine in the test mule produced 679 PS, 499 kilowatt, 670 horsepower, 20 PS, 15 kilowatt, 20 horsepower, more than that of the production car. The car was not kept by Ferrari and was auctioned off in 2005 to a private collector at a price of 190,000 euros, making its presence known to the public. The car was famous as the Frankenstein Ferrari due to it being a byproduct of many Ferrari models. 
Due to this fact and a lack of model name and safety features, it was deemed not road legal.